Michelle, it's a mild start out there this morning, Michelle. It is. Some spots are at 70 degrees, so that's much warmer than average, but we really have that sort of seesaw effect going on this week where we go warmer, to at, warmer than average to much cooler than average temperatures by the end of the week. But we're starting off on radar dry skies. There's a sweep down to the coastline. Actually, the fog has not been as much of an issue this morning as what we had yesterday, but we'll continue to monitor it. We do have another warm day on the way. Thursday is our transition to much cooler conditions. So I still think Thursday running at or even slightly above average for temperatures and then chilly nights on the way for late this week. We've been sort of advertising that all week long and we're still looking at a stretch of nights where you may even feel like turning the heat on later in the evening and night. All right, we've got eight miles visibility in Taunton right now, six in Providence, five miles in Newport and seven in Westerly. So no patchy dense fog at the moment, but we will be keeping an eye out because over the next hour or two could still see some develop. 66 in Smithfield, the temperatures at 67 in Providence, 68 Newport, 70 Westerly, 68 out in New Bedford. And so warming up through the 60s and lower 70s at the bus stop this morning, any fog gives way to sunshine and we're looking at a fairly quiet day for our area. Want to show you the temperatures? Uh, these are actually forecasted highs. We're looking at low 80s again along the southeast New England coastline, but notice the cooler temperatures that are going to be working their way across the central Great Lakes and even Pittsburgh only at 74. So that cool air is starting to march across the country with two cold fronts. They're going to sort of merge into one and the core of the cold air for us rushes in on Thursday night. Now this front's going to come close enough to us that over parts of Connecticut, western Massachusetts, and perhaps even our far northwest suburbs, there may be a shower or an isolated thunderstorm, but I do think most areas are rain-free for today. Warm, humid, and mostly sunny at the coastline this afternoon. Charlestown at about 77. 83 Hope Valley, low 80s in Coventry. Northwest Rhode Island, a sun and cloud mixture, perhaps an isolated shower up towards Burrowville or Foster Center. And as we look out towards New Bedford, it's going to be a dry day. Breezy, warm, 78 Middletown, about 83 in Seekonk. Visibility on the bay rapidly improves after any morning fog. Winds are again a little gusty southwest at 10 to 20 knots waves 1 to 2 feet the high tide 9 30 this morning low tides just past 3 in the afternoon early fog then sunny at the beaches 76 for your air temperature water temperatures running in the mid 60s seven day future cast so i look i think the best chance of showers this week is tomorrow and it's mostly towards the end of the day and the first part of thursday night high 78 then the temperatures tumble for thursday night down to 48 by dawn friday in the mid 60s Friday and Saturday, Sunday as well at 69 and nighttime lows.